Hi everyone, in this video I'm taking out the WL Toys XKS 284161 um, not only to the parking garage, also to the skate park and to test it uh, off road and also on the asphalt and pretty much everywhere because this tiny thing is so awesome. Enjoy the video. First, let's see what's in the box. The remote control fits good in my hand and has an extension for single handed driving. It's fitted with two turning knobs to adjust throttle and steering. Batteries are not included with the remote, you will have to provide four AAA batteries. I do remember that there is some sort of uh, phone holder so you can place your smartphone in it. illustration for phone holder so let's test it out this is some regular android phone and it doesn't seem to wobble around in the holder since i cannot adjust the angle i'm not really sure whether that will be practical for me filming with it now let's feed this thing Turn it on on the back and wait for the light. Yippee! Color wise it kind of reminded me of an earlier version of the WL Toys remote control. Which is this big bulky thing. My favorite one was the black one though. It fits even better in my hand and one handed steering is just a breeze with it. How good it will be on the new one I will have to find out. Regarding ergonomics, I will always prefer the black one. While the OG version will always give me hand cramps. And this is the car, but let me turn on that light first. You remove one pin and then it hinges open. Oh my, isn't it absolutely gorgeous. There's a roof bar, headlights and what I guess are searchlights and lights at the back as well. Even for the 128 scale this thing has lots of details such as exhaust pipes mirrors and fire extinguishers. The tires are made to look like they're beadlock tires but they're not. There's even a small wheelie bar but I'm not really sure whether we'll ever get to use it. The new rubber tires smell as if you are in a new bike store. The spare tire seems to be functional. The car is only equipped with friction dampers but I assume that the bigger tires provide dampening as well. You will also get a manual which you should read, I will speed run you through it. It's actually quite useful because it shows you how to put everything back together. What's always important for me when buying an RC is the availability of spare parts. But wait, there's more. Spare clips and gears, a charger, 2000 milliampere, that's quite powerful. That's why this beauty was charged in no time. Now let's try the phone holder. Meh, I don't really like it. Ah, that's much better.
And now for the obligatory wrapping montage. For its size, it appears to be rather fast, and also the one-handed steering is not as bad as I would have expected. This RC is so attractive and fun, a fellow RC even interrupted me while filming. Huh? Now let's try and focus and get on the dirt with this thing. I used to own the K989 which is kind of a rally version of this thing and driving on this kind of surface would have been impossible with this. I don't know whether it comes across on the screen, but I am having a blast with this thing. I actually bought it because it kind of looks like a mini version of the ZD Racing GBX07, which is still on my wish list. Three, two, one, go! Now let's have a look inside again. On the top is a little ESC combo, on the side you see some cooling device and there's also a small LiPo in the side and of course lights are running inside. I hope you liked the video, if you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.